What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. I've said it before, but I'm not really a sports guy, it's just, it really ain't my thing. I mean, take tennis for example, right? What's the point? You go over to the ball and you hit it to the other side. Wow, how exhilarating. I mean, at least with football, you got people like jumping on each other, tackling each other, right? That never gets old. That being said, while I'm not into sports, I've actually bet on sports games in the past, believe it or not. Basically, I'd find a team whose name I really like and then I'd put my money on them. Ironically, I think my strategy has earned me more money than my other friends who are into this kind of thing. That being said, every now and then, sports can produce some pretty entertaining news. So, there's a team in the NBA called Called the Timberwolves and it seems like they've been having trouble with some protesters. On April 12th, a woman ran onto the court and super glued herself to it. On April 17th, another changed herself to a basketball hoop wearing a shirt that said, Glenn Taylor roasts animals alive. Hairy stuff. Don't worry, we'll go down that rabbit hole later. On Saturday's game, which saw the Minnesota Timberwolves play off against the Memphis Grizzlies, a woman charged the court. Take a look. And here it is from another angle. Beverly throws into the front row on the other with these people. And there's somebody else here who's trying to go yeah, going after Taylor. Taylor. Are so, for a little more context, the woman who charged the court was named Sasha Zimmel, part of an animal rights group called Direct Action Everywhere. According to a Google Doc they wrote, which, by the way, why did they write this on a text document? I mean, they have a website, I don't know. Basically, under her shirt, she had a referee uniform on, and what was supposed to happen was she'd launch onto the court, ripping her shirt off to appear as a ref, and issue a technical foul, ejection, and a fine to the owner of the Timberwolves, Glenn Taylor, but of course was apprehended by security, like almost immediately. She also seems to have had a camera person who accompanied her, who was also apprehended. The security guard who tackled the woman is named Pierre, and honestly, give this man a raise. I mean, he really took the initiative there, didn't he? I mean, you look at the footage and he knew something was gonna go down. As soon as that woman launched herself out of the seat, he was on the move. That dame didn't even get halfway over the court before getting absolutely blindsided. And honestly, what a crummy way to demonstrate too. I mean, in order to get on the court, she had to jump through these two ladies. And like, someone could have gotten hurt is all I'm saying. I don't care what you say you're fighting for, how just it is. When your demonstrations could very well put someone's health and safety at risk, that's just something that I can't condone. Well, alright, that's the situation summarized. Yet another crazy animal rights activist trying to make a scene. But why are all these protests going on? What's all this talk of roasting animals alive, and what does it have to do with basketball? Well, I did some research. The owner of the Timberwolves, Glenn Taylor, owns a company called Rambrandt Enterprises, which is basically an egg production plant. They got all sorts of eggs, dried egg, liquid egg, refrigerated egg, cage free egg, frozen egg, pre-cooked egg, like damn, you know, I thought egg was egg, like you got the egg and you did whatever you wanted with it, I guess I gotta get with the times. Apparently there's been somewhat of an outbreak of something called avian influenza, and it's highly contagious among birds, those who come into contact with secretions like bird saliva or droppings can become infected, and it can also spread and be deadly to humans, so you can kinda connect the dots, right, if you're someone who owns a factory that's shipping out bird eggs and such, you don't want any of those eggs ending up giving someone a potentially fatal disease. So unfortunately, the only practical solution is to kill the birds so they don't spread the disease. In 2022, 23 million chickens across these United States have been killed in response to the avian flu, 5.4 of them having been done so in the factories owned by Glenn Taylor. The method used to kill these chickens is called VSD+, which stands for Ventilation Shutdown Plus. Basically, the way it goes is workers seal a barn tight and cut off its ventilation. They'll then add carbon dioxide and heat, which is presumably why protesters are saying Mr. Taylor is roasting animals alive. The carbon dioxide combined with the heat renders the chickens unconscious in 20 to 30 seconds and will kill them in 2 to 3 minutes. The carbon dioxide also produces an anesthetic effect, making the death of the animals a much more painless procedure. This method has been lauded by the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, as being a very humane and effective way 
way to cull livestock if so needed. As the avian bird flu is highly contagious, it becomes that more important to dispose of these animals as soon as possible. Here's how I see it. The industries owned by Glenn Taylor are simply following the instructions and procedures provided and recommended by a governmental organization, presumably the result of painstaking research. In that case, I see no reason why anger should be directed at Mr. Taylor and his industries. If you truly believe the methods employed are inhumane and cause unjust suffering, then I think it would make for a more efficient use of time and money to protest the USDA instead. I mean, even if you get Mr. Taylor to stop using the methods that he is, well, that's just one company. There's probably other chicken farms out there using this exact method. In effect, I really don't think you're changing much. And frankly, these publicity stunts of yours probably aren't doing that much to change public opinion anyways. Alright, you get some nut job to charge the court, their stint lasts for like 20 seconds before they're carried off, and then when that gets into the news, you have people like me who really just laugh at you, call you nuts, and move on with their lives. At the very best, all you're doing is causing a slight disturbance that, in all honesty, is probably just gonna get people to hate you and pay less attention to your preaching. After all, no one wants their game interrupted by some crazy animal rights activists. Those seats can't be cheap. They're front row and everything. I have no idea why people would donate to these guys considering the money just fuels publicity stunts that no one but some 200 sub YouTuber cares about. Honestly though, I say keep doing what you're doing. I mean at some point you guys are just gonna end up in a jailhouse and then what? Are you gonna stage a sit-in at the prison cafeteria cause they're serving unethically sourced meat? <laughs> Write me a letter, tell me how that goes. So that's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, you guys do old Jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you, thank you very much.